If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. Today, I'm going to be going over one of the easiest ways to make coin in Madden 21 ultimate team right now guys now as you guys know i did make the other coin making method about two to three days ago going over mud trap now that is probably the best way but that one's not related to ultimate team per se it's a separate game mode this that one requires you to play something else which a lot of people probably may or may or may not want to do may discourage some people so this one specifically right here will be mud related won't require you to play games will just require you to work some sets and do some stuff guys and this is one of the best ways ever you to make coins i make a video on this i made this video madden 19 i made it madden 20 so Always gotta refresh you guys with this one now, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know which one, what you guys are using right now to make the most coins in Madden 21 so far. And guys, thank you for the support as of recently. I really appreciate it. We're almost 22k. Next goal is 23k, and hopefully maybe even 30k by the end of September. At least that's the goal. Now, guys, um, let's move on over to start showing you guys some of the sets. What I'm talking about here, but guys, this method right here has been pretty great. Um, it's kind of like. The, the risk involved in it can pretty much just get washed out by the pulls you continuously keep getting from these sets. So I'll, I'll explain that in just a second. But this one has been one of the best ones, especially for early in the year. This set later in the year kind of differs. Like it starts to get, it starts to get kind of bad. But in the early year, due to the price of certain things, it is super, super good. And as so was like a bare, a bare minimum, you end up breaking even. And, a, and a, like a decent case scenario, not even best, you make tons of coins. I'll go over that again in just a second. Let's head over to exchange sets and let's go over to the player exchange. Now, guys, these are the sets you're going to be focusing on, these two right here. Now, the reason these are so important is because the 66 to 69 overall silver exchange, you put two silver 60 to 65 in, and you get back a random 66 to 69. And the beauty of this overall range is this is where power-ups are dropped. Power-ups, half the power-ups are within the 66 to 69 range, and then over here, the other half the power-ups are in the 70 to 74 range. Now, that is the beauty of these sets is because pretty much if you, if you just exchange worth the silvers, now in this step, be a little careful when you are putting players in. Make sure you're not putting in any good players. Some players will go for a decent amount because they are in the Team Diamond Barry set or the whole the whole 32 teams. But for the most part, guys, worst case scenario, you put some bump silvers. You get you, you get back your coins. You lose 100 coins. Best best case scenario, you pull like a Tyree Kill right here, Jamal Adams. You pull like a Jalen Smith. You pull some of the power, and then a lot of power for now are super expensive because it's so early in the year. Even bad power ups have a decent price point, so you can just really start hitting heavily on these guys very soon i'm telling you i have a bunch of packs saved up i'm gonna keep making a little bit more here for you guys but i have a bunch now again this varies for everyone some people may just get like a regular power up they may get only 10k coins some people may make a few hundred thousand if you pull tyreek and uh, if you pull tyreek and like jamal adams that's it you're, you're loaded like that's how quickly this thing can make you pretty pretty penny in this game now i really do like this method that this is one of my best methods back in like 20 and 19 i used to do this all the time the only thing is there's two ways to do this. If you don't have a big binder right now, you don't have a full binder, you can go ahead and move to the block and pick up some players. Um, you want to want to get them for get them for like you don't want to buy them for their face value. Always try to snipe them a little bit. Get them for the cheapest price so your your returns just that much larger. Now for me, I have a, a very large binder right now. So let's just say you have a massive binder full of silvers. You don't like selling them one by one. Great binder clearing method. Pretty much you just return all your value on the coins at either bare bare minimum or break even or even a return on investment and pretty much investing your binder into a higher price point there's so much that could be done from these and exactly is exactly why i like these packs which i have 23 here so let's see um i have the 66 69 70 74 and i got the 75 79 that one was accidental i accidentally made that one we'll do it anyways now let's see i have 10 and 12 so let's see how much we pull so guys if you guys didn't know these packs were broken earlier in the year Oh, we got a power up to start off ready. We got Matthew Judon. Now, guys, this this pack right here is going to give you the best power ups because these are the lower ones. Some may be decent because they have better cards, but for the most part, these won't be the best ones. Now, guys, if you didn't know, these packs were broken early in the year. Um, They were not working. People were opening up like 10, 20, 30, and they weren't pulling a single power up. So either they weren't in packs or in, in these packs or the, the odds weren't their odds weren't right or coded properly. So I know a bunch of people hit up Jay Stein and did the whole thing. And then he did confirm they worked and a few subs, including Zerk and a few subs of mine told me that these were working again. So the method is back, guys. So we already got one power up to start. Let's see pack number two. We got a silver again. If you get a regular silver, guys, here's the thing. You could either take these silvers and toss them into the next set, which is the next pack. If you toss them into that set ahead, 
but check if it's a rookie he may go for a decent amount because of the, the collection but what you could always do guys is take him and to toss him right to the next set and just keep redoing the set over and over again or check their value first make sure they're not going for anything sell the ones that do for anything for over a k you should probably sell and then the rest toss into sets now it's up to you guys again you could just take all your value back on these but i like to trade them up into the sets we got a second power up here again not bad matthew stafford now that card actually might have some value when he gets a high throw power card at some point if he does i mean the issue is we have Mahomes nowadays so it's very hard for matt stafford to have any kind of value like that another rookie right here again the rookies ones you want to check their value they might actually go for something considering they are in the isaiah simmons set so definitely check on them before you go ahead and sell them but the regular silvers i mean you more or less know what they're going to go for but still check of course it'll be it'll be it'll be dumb to not just check and make sure that those don't go for anything all right so we're on to the bigger packs here so let's see if we can pull a firepower up here so we do get a rookie grant and del pit now these are where these cards could go for easily like two to four k maybe more so you definitely want to be checking on these as you uh, sell them or put them into the set um the golds always check guys the golds could go for a few k as well especially if they go into one of the sets so you don't again want to be checking for those another gold 74 jason witten i will show you guys some of the values of these at the end of the video just so i can confirm with you guys and again it's even decent if you just pull some golds like if these goals go for a few k and the silver is going for under 1k again still some coins but even if it's a small coin value or coin make and it's gonna take more than just 12 packs guys like you want to be opening these in like quantities of like 30 to 40 same thing in real life like you have one shot at, at, at something you're probably not going to win it you have 40 shots good chance you, you have enough spots to hit but for me i i needed more but again i could sit here all day doing these the video would be too long but you guys do see i'll show you guys the value of that like i, I did pull those two power-ups and again i pull a third power up here and i do get cooper cup again just remember that if i pull three to four power-ups out of 20 packs that's a, another power-up right there brian blaga thing is guys look i pulled four power-ups out of what appears to be about 20 packs not even yet 18 packs so that percentage is really really good considering it's like one fourth one fifth of packs depending another power up right there we get lamar jackson power up now the only thing that sucks about lamar jackson power up is that i think he's not going to go for much because he is free with the game that would be so hard. well maybe not because everyone who did get lamar jackson power up is putting them onto their lamar jackson that's free you know, that would really suck. But yeah, Lamar Jackson, that's a banger one. I happen to pull the worst banger one, but it could have been Tyreek Hill. Could have been a lot of other people. It's not just that. So th there's a lot of hope. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. I just pulled like five or six power-ups out of what I think was like 21 packs. So great, great odds. And I remember, replace my power-ups with a few other bangers. Some of you might pull Jamal Adams. Some of you might pull um, like a Saquon. Some of you might pull a Derrick Henry, a McCaffrey. There's just so many opportunities for you guys to pull some good stuff. So look. Just of the Lamar alone, I don't know if he's going to go for much because he was free. 3K. That's a snipe. All right. He goes for 15K. He goes for 15K. So I got 15K. I just got a second one. That's 30K. But for real, I got 15K. And again, that's Lamar, who they gave literally worldwide everyone a free one. So that just goes to show you. Now, that's Lamar. Then we got Brian Bulaga. Now, these won't go for much because these aren't good players. We got bad players. I mean... Yeah, 2.7k it's expected we didn't get we didn't get good players in terms of those like we got good power up overalls but we didn't get good players like cooper cup is like a known like great madden player because he's always so slow but again like i said you get tyree kill you get jamal a bobby wagner you get a few other bangers guys and you're looking at a few you look at a few hundred thousand coins very very fast and guys the ones that don't go for a lot in my opinion don't sell them you're gonna say why wouldn't i sell them hold them you pulled them now wait for them to get some value so look you you, buy, you, you, you get brian belaga get him Mud Superstars drops, another promo drops, anything drops or heavyweights drop, Brian Belaga gets an 86 overall, 87 overall, he's now one of the best right tackles in the game, suddenly his power up is 10k, so def if, if, they, if they don't go for at least 7k, like right now, if they're going for like 7k, like Lamar, 15k, you can cash that. Now like again, for Lamar, you could always hold him for his next card as well, and like he's supposed to get a new card pretty soon, at least we think with that Mud Superstar promo, so maybe you should hold him, but some cards you know like, okay, if, if Cooper Cup's going for 8k, take the ak it's cooper cup now if cooper cup's going for 1k wait maybe he gets a new card maybe he, he unlocks ability like slot apprentice that not everyone has you never know and then of course you want to come through sporadically and check your rookies see their value grant delpit goes for 2k all right sell that one that's more than the other silvers but you guys pretty much get the point guys but that is it for the video hope you guys did enjoy hopefully you guys make tons of coins off this method now if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that on boys for all the year-long gameplay tips pack opening content everything there is mad related i do just about everything on this channel 
Um, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if this did. If you did like this, you're hopeful or you like the polls I got, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Come get 300 likes in this video. And guys, comment down below. Let me know how much you make off this. And please come back to this video later and let me know what you guys pulled off this. But that's about it, guys. And remember, if you do need coins and you're not a fan of coin methods or you want even more coins than just this for the promos that will be coming out at the new Legend Weekend, make sure you head over to muttreserve.com. Go down below. The link that is down below in the description. Use code PUDA to check out 50% off. Super cheap prices. Way better than buying packs, guys. That's it. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.